I'm very happy to see that when we stepped over to Sony Hive, it worked day by day. It never let us down. RTV Oost is one of the Dutch regional broadcasters. It started all with radio and it increases to what it's now a multimedia station. The limitations of the previous system were the time it needed. It was sometimes very difficult and you have to ask a technician to help you. It was very complicated. The role of the journalist is changing so much. They have to do so many tasks by themselves. Doing the camera, doing editing, do voiceover, uh, graphics. So they do a lot of things on their own and we should support them with good technical tools for that. And Hive is very good in the whole video workflow and to support them at that way. We didn't want a video system especially for television. The world is changing and for RTV Oost, online comes first. So we want to have video online and on all kinds of social media. When video comes in from a journalist, everybody should be able to work on that video. That was the thing I was looking for. So many people could work on the same video when it comes in. We need to be uh, very quick with what we make with our content because our audience is expecting content very fast. Here in the social media department, we modify existing material from the people out in the field. So we can edit something, we can close the sequence. One out in the field can look at it, move things around, get back to us. To Hive, and so it's much faster. It's also stable for me, but also for the individual journalist, it's very easy, much easier than before. It's much quicker and less complicated. Our journalists can film their material, put it on the Hive server and have the laptop and edit it in the field and use also archived material. And I think that's the biggest advantage of the whole system. When we bought Hive, we were focused on the people were daily working with editing or playout. But what the good thing is that many more people use Hive for other tasks than just for the television. We showed it also to other companies. Other broadcasters in Europe came to Hengelo to see how the system works and they were very interested. So they could see it here in practice how it worked. I'm very excited of the steps we already made the last year but I'm more excited about the, the coming future. The roadmap of uh, the Media Backbone Hive is uh, very promising. There are no barriers, and I think that is a very good future for us.